Well, it's early June. Well over six months since I started this project. Which actually I thought would be easy. But turned out to be immensely exhausting up there. It's the last thing. I had to replace the back panel because I had drilled right by the first groove that's all by itself on the left. I had drilled into the bed, the, into the cabin and the water was leaking into down the window. This is left to do and I finally figured out it's going to take a lot of measuring and a mock up with a piece of insulation and same with this and then I'll be able to put it together and I'll pre-paint my piece of plywood that I'm going to put in this color not like it matters but it would look better and the top I've got to, I've got to get two more pieces and then I'm going to get two eight footers to get rid of the purple back here and um, most of the work has been inside there's the dog that dog has watched me build this whole thing and barked at me the whole time and um, this um, needs a, a top piece as well. Let's go inside. And like I said, this is where most of the work, the door I finished up with that fancy doorknob, I didn't have enough to put it on the inside. And I'll have to take my Coke can crusher off when I put this, this type of wood in here. And then I have to cut the zigzags and um welcome and um granted it's dirty messy I'm, i've got some of these type of baskets that i'm going to put up under the floor under the under the um just long enough that people still see my dumb face and they'll come out to my stand up gigs. Under the overhang there and really be able to store everything that I have in this really basket he said, Bill, you don't and other things so it doesn't roll around while I drive. And I got I got some work to do in the paneling back there. I, I'm, I finally figured it out. I'm going to cut a two by two in half and insert it in there. Nailed and screw it in the back, and then screw the, these pieces into it. Um, this is one of the things I really like: the half log, the quarter log. And um, so. Well, this, this is never going to be anything better than standing in front of a live audience that's going nuts laughing. No. Or if you're in a band singing a song. No. Or if you dump a ball. Let's go get some coffee. I read this book one time. And this comes down. The first that won the one uh, and the first there is some work, trim work there. The These holes need to be filled. I've got a board the out there that's left and over they, that's from... Off something I did and then gave it to him. Um, like these guys used to race and there would be fans standing behind a row. Sure. I think it's the top like there Maybe, no, no I don't remember um, of his car went into the crowd like a Chinese star. oh it back here a whole row of people yeah. this and like, you know which I think really see. helps the no, bad strength like, uh, tragedy. You know, and the, um, people, the ability to get up down. into it I've got to hide the lights. Like I put the I'm rope up the there as a trim. A and um, I've learned a lot. And I put the cell phone on speaker. It's just there's so and much, only so much I can do now. I used to be able to like work this. 
a whole weekend, three day weekend, non stop. And nowadays, I uh, get one one day spread out over three days on a three day weekend. So eight or nine hours worth of work, two one day, three and three, and then I'm tired for three weeks. <laughs> Um, the outside, building the outside really tore me up. I, mean, it, 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 I was, it was three months, two, two, two months at least before I did another thing. I got it to the point where I could be in here with a jacket on and um, I enjoyed it all weekend, winter, having a place, but I wasn't mobile. There were issues. Um, with being mobile, that you got this ability to make me laugh and to ruin all at the same time. This guy's foul mouth. Yeah, but I'm I'm finally bouncing back. Those hooks up there, you can see. I hang a chair on them. And you can see this chair is hanging. I have two chairs because a lot of sometimes when we travel, or I, I plan on having two people in here. But when I don't have a second person in here, it's nice to have the floor open because I can get in and out easier, and it's it's a little bit more comfortable. So putting that up there, I, I had both chairs hanging when I was driving yesterday. I had to get that cut off, that bo that piece of metal that I showed earlier, before I could drive because it stuck out eight or nine inches and I was worried that I would catch a truck and rip the whole roof off. And now it's uh, it's under the, it's, um, the scope of the truck width, so it's, it's, it's safe, uh, it's, uh, safe again. Um... Well, that is about it. I I apologize to put my hands in front of the camera. I do that all the time. Um, I remember the cold day when I put these and came out the next morning. I had a warm day, and then it got cold the day after. And I, I busted my butt getting these done and getting them in for the night and had the heater in here so they dried good. But then the next morning it was Arctic and... Um, I thought I had, I thought I had reached the top and was done, and then I turned around and looked at everything that needed to be done, and the amount of energy that I had and needed, and the energy that I needed and didn't have, and um, it was really an eye opener. But I've, I had this paneling that I put on the door and back up on the roof or ceiling. I've had it for three months and didn't use it. And the argument on that is I could have spent the money and done other things and not buy, and not had it. But I had it. And when I would finally got the window of opportunity to work on it, I didn't have to go buy it. And fitting five, four sheets of paneling in a in that car those, you know, a uh, Honda was um, a, a nightmare. It just you had to fold it and cram it in there, and that in and of itself was a day. And so to have it here on site all winter, luckily we have a porch up there with where stuff could be. Um, and my wife hated it, but sitting there waiting. And then I'm ready to go. And now I have that plywood, and that's going to go on the uh, the front end. So um, it's best to have it on site. I, I did a, be a better job than m most of my project of having the, the materials purchased in advance. And um, making minimal trips to the, gr to the lumber yard. And then prices went, you know, through the roof, so... That was good. But I want to do a camp out. 
at least maybe a day camp where we don't spend the night, but where we drive out and maybe come back here, have dinner, have lunch, maybe lay down and rest for a couple minutes and then drive back. But, um, I'd like to do that this summer. After all, that's the main reason of building one of these things. I haven't really done any mobile um, office gigs. And maybe this summer I will do that. Get up and go at, at dark and um, get my early stuff done. And then come home after stand up at 10 before it gets too hot because my air conditioning is these little piddly things and they're not very, they're not very um, strong. I'm trying to find something that I could use. And I, I've seen where the ones that mount to the roof, but uh, just, I'd have to rebuild it and that's not fun. So if I put one here, I would lose the space that I'm gonna hang my chair in. So it's probably gonna be here and I'll have to take down that shelf or move it to here and then put the air conditioner there. That's probably the best because I'd have to go out the back. You don't want to take your vent out right by the door or else the, the, the vent, vented air would come in. So I'll probably go out that way around the corner from the door so it blows down the road instead of getting sucked back into the room. But anyway, that's it. Crazy build. Um, probably going to be my last because I, I just don't think I can do anything this big. I won't be that gullible again. But anyway, over and out.